today I'm very thankful again. I have photo shoot. I still have able. I'm still able to work during the circuit breaker, and then I'm able to earn enough money to buy all the local food. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we must do something to finish our local beer as soon as possible. So today we are going to pair with the beer. It's called Off Day, and then we are also going to use the machine from Cizix. We have a Chinese food. We have the Indian food and the Malay food. Sean will talk about the beer later. Let me talk about the chicken rice, which is my favorite chicken rice brand in Singapore, Winamki. Oh. But only go to the one in United Square that one tastes the best. Popia is a Chinese thing as well. It's like a Chinese rice roll. Spring roll. Spring roll. This is gado gado. It's something like a, a Malay or Indonesian uh, salad. Mm. It's, a, it's a peanut sauce and then a vegetable. And then some of the rice uh, cake, rice cake, egg, and a lot of fiber, a lot of protein. And rempa. Yep. This is a highlight of the day. Uh, it's an Indian rojak, which is uh, you choose whatever in the store. It's in North Point. It's a second generation business. The son do the rojak very well. It create the name called Ministry of Rojak. And it's slightly pricey, but it's famous. It's famous. It's, it's very good. good. And then they are very generous. generous to give a big bowl of the gravy, yes. which is also peanut as well. You can choose whatever. The more you choose, the more expensive it is. And then the price <laughs> is on the top. So just check the price before you take it. Mm. These two things, because it's a Ramadan period, the Malay store, they actually sell extra thing. Okay. So this is uh, the traditional snacks. The cracker is paired with the gado gado. Yeah. So what is this? It is uh, something with glutinous rice. Mm. But I have not know it's whether it's sweet or savory. Later we try. Yeah, we are going to try the food now. As we mentioned on all our vlogs, I actually contacted uh, all the brewery. Mm -hmm. They sent us a list to pair the food. The first dish that we are going to try is the gado gado, which is Indonesian or Malay style rojak. We are going to pair it with haze by Off Day. According to the very friendly staff from Off Day, right? They, oh, it smells really good. Uh, very fruity. Uh, they told us that off day haze actually goes well with uh, light but saucy kind of dishes. Quite happy we have gado gado today. It's a very light dish as you can see it's full of vegetables, light tasting rice cake and egg as well. It goes along with the peanut sauce over here. We reckon that if we pair off day haze with uh, the gado gado it might be a perfect combination. I'm not sure but we can give it a try and then we'll okay. see how it so, goes. Let's talk about physics. Here you can see there's a difference of the foam. This one I, I added the creamy foam with the, one of the function from physics. So I, this one I pour forward you get the beer and then now I pour the other direction I get the foam. For this machine you can create out a woo, just nice finish. Foam. The create out a very creamy foam mm. with the machine and da da! Yeah, and the foam is actually very micro bubbly kind of foam. So, physics is actually a, a home beer dispenser. Cheers. Ah, oh, nice. Mm. Very refreshing. Less time. I'm starving. Okay. To our friend Gary Chopping from Adelaide, I'm so sorry that. Uh, Today we have three dishes is full of peanut. <laughs> you can don't have peanuts with it. Mm. Yeah. So let me try it now. Okay. Mmm. Nice. Okay, I have to say sorry to our Muslim friend to pair Malay food with beer, but I think it's open to a lot of beer lover to try all the different food. Let's try the beer. Mmm. <sighs> It's a very easy drink and the peanut sauce from the store is very nice. It's not too sweet because I usually when we eat the gado gado, they love to put a lot of sugar, make the peanut sauce very sweet. Mm. This one has a little, the peanut sauce is a little more on the spicy side mm. than the sweet ones which we have come across. Once again, this is the off-day haze. It kind of pairs really nicely with the gado gado because it's a light dish. And the beer is very crisp. And the aroma is very nice. Very fruity, right? Yes, yeah. It helps to enhance the flavor of the gado gado. I asked my sister-in-law, she's from Indonesia. I asked her, uh, is that roja 
from Indonesia. And then she actually gave the example that it's the regular rojak, we, the fruit rojak that we have in uh-huh. Penang and Singapore. And then my brother saying that actually gado gado can be considered as the rojak as well. Oh, the tofu is very uh, salty, but it's very nice. I like it. Rojak means something that is mixed together, right? So that's why when we, there's the word we say that we speak in rojak way, which means that when we, Singaporean, Malaysian love to talk, a little bit of English, a mm. little bit of Cantonese, Chinese, and a little bit of Malay in a, a place of language. Yeah, so we created Singlish. <laughs> mm. We have finished with the gado gado. It was really very delicious. I, I like the gado gado very much. Especially the sauce. Yeah, yes. the spicy. I think our friend from Brunei in Vancouver, Jacinda Kaka, Kaka. will love that very yes. much too. Yes. Yeah. So next up, we are going to pair of the double with popia which is spring roll this spring roll is different from the fried spring roll which y'all commonly know uh, it's different it has got a lot of ingredients inside mainly vegetables and also um, egg and uh, some, okay. yeah green and, bean sprouts and then some fried dough to yes. make it crispy yes. and then uh, garlic yes and then chili sauce and then the tunip right the yeah, main the ingredient tunic. is tunic. And then they also smear a layer of black sweet sauce on the uh, spring roll skin to give it the extra sweetness. So there's uh, many layers of uh, flavors and texture. Off Day Double is a beer which the friendly staff from Off Day have recommended for us to pair with spicy food. Today, our spring roll has got um, chili. chili in it and we thought it might go well with the spicy spring roll that we have so we are going to give it a go i'm going to do a comparison again so with this machine you can create a beautiful foam like in a pub or in a bar like a draft beer yes and then you have a very beautiful creamy foam it's a nitro style kind of draft beer minus the need to have a nitrogen or carbon dioxide canister to help create the, the Bubble. bubbles so they mm. use ultrasound wave to help to create it vibrate the bubble <laughs> it's lightweight and the noise is almost minimal let's give it a try yes popia is one of my favorite dish when sean go at work then usually i'll buy this as a snack for his mom mm. it's really just like a snack after lunch mm. before dinner kind of snack Mm. Yes. I bought it in North Point as well. The popmea, the garlic is very strong. Mm. And it's quite spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Very malty. Wow. But a little bit bitterness. Yeah, just a slight hint of bitterness at the end. And the fragrance, the aroma is very nice, very fruity and floral. I like the fact that physics create a very creamy mouthfeel of the foam. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think it can pair the grilled stingray very well. Mm. Yeah. And other spicy food. Tom yum. So popia is a Singaporean favorite as well. There's another way it's a great pai tea. It's a golden cup. For Sean families, uh, sometime weekend, they will get a big They'll make a big pot of the popia and then buy the skin from the store and then they'll roll popia as one meal yeah. with his grandma. Yes. The skin is just flour and sea salt and water. Mm. Yeah, we did that at home last time. It's, uh, it's rest, it needs good skill and a lot of practice to make a beautiful and big mm. skin. Yeah. I like the popia very much. Popia is something very Chinese. Different places have the different style of popia. Like uh, my hometown in Penang, our popia is like a lot of gravy soup inside and it cooked with the crab meat. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. And in Kuala Lumpur, that we like very much, you can get it anywhere in the shopping mall. They put a lot of crispy, crunchy stuff inside. Mm. Remember, it was Two so sisters. yes, it was so tasty and we love that very mm. much. And the one in Singapore, also very good. Um, the one in Taiwan, they put the tofu inside, the slightly hardened tofu. And a lot of coriander, <laughs> which yeah. people don't like, but I love it. We love it very yes. much, but the size is very big. They stuff a lot of uh, ingredient inside and it's yes. called rumping. Yeah. Different place, they call different names, but yes. uh, it's almost the same. We have finished the popia 
it's a little bit spicy now. <laughs> Starting to burn my tongue. The next one, we are going to pair the same beer with the Winam Ki roasted chicken rice. It's also one of our favorite. The fragrant rice is used a very healthier way to cook. They don't use the chicken fat. They use lemongrass and then oil, some herbs to cook the rice to make it fragrant food. We did a feature of this in one of our earlier vlogs oh, before. Yes, yes. So we are going to leave the link up there. We tried six or eight chicken rice in a day. Yes. So mm. let's try the rice. So we chose to pair with off day double because uh, at the same time, uh, there is a chili that pairs with the chicken rice. Mm. In a way, it's also a kind of spicy food. And then there's spice in the rice as well, like lemongrass. The rice itself is very nice. Really? Yeah. The rice is very aromatic. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's try the chili. Mm. Ooh. Yes. It's the same taste as I imagine. It's very sharp mm. at the same Pair time sourish. So let me get a piece of the chicken meat, the roasted chicken. Ooh, it's very tender. I must say they complement quite well. Mm. They both bring out the flavors in each other. The rice itself is really, really nice. Mm. It has so many fragrance in the rice itself. And then the beer has a lot of uh, fragrance as well, the different aroma. Mm. So it's like, the balance with each other is very nice. Yeah, it helped to create this very wholesome bouquet of aroma. I'm going to try a big mouthful of the roasted chicken and the rice. Mm -hmm. So chicken rice is considered one of the dishes that you must try when you come to Singapore. There are many different outlets that serve chicken rice in very distinctive flavors. Mm. It's really up to you which one you prefer. There's no, there's right, or no wrong. right or wrong. Mm. There's no one the chicken rice. It's mm. really a variety. Is the Singapore Hainanese chicken oh. rice the steamed one or the roasted or both? Interesting point to add is chicken rice can be very uh, top of the range. It can be very expensive. Yes, and then it can also be a very normal dish that you can get in a food court or a hawker center. It's almost everywhere you can find chicken rice in Singapore. Mm. When you're dating someone in Singapore, when the person say, I don't know anything to eat, chicken rice is a good choice. It's, it's usually it will never fail you. A bad chicken rice in Singapore will be closed down very soon. So far, we never had a bad chicken rice. Mm. Yeah, since I came to Singapore for so long. The locals, they know their chicken rice. If you come to Singapore, if you see on any pre-packed cooked uh, chicken rice, the pre-made, you can buy it back and then cook. We did that in Japan and Poland, and all our friends love it. It was a hit. <laughs> Just now, the double... It became bitter after we pair with the chicken rice, but mm. when we eat together with the popia, it was delicious. Mm. It's still okay, acceptable. Yeah, I think it's uh, better to be paired with uh, food that has got very intense, strong flavors. A lot of garlic, a lot of mm. chili, so sweet. That's why they recommend that spicy food. Mm. The so, next one is mm -hmm. off day off day beer. And it's actually an easy IPA that is bright, tropical, and crisp. It has got water, barley, wheat, oats, hops, and yeast. Oh wow, that's a lot of things. Yeah. We were informed that it actually goes well with uh, seafood. Seafood. We have seafood here. Amidst this uh, very colorful platter of fried doughy stuff, right? Um, there are some of the fried stuff that has got uh, shrimps on top of them. So we are going to pair it with or, or some or some uh, shrimp inside them. Yeah, that's right. We reckon that it will go well with this dish. Let's try a compare with the ham paw also. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, it will be more fun okay. or those. We have not watched our earlier Yeah, if video. you have not watched, then we'll leave the link for you to actually check out the difference. I also make it like 45 degree, the koi. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm. It's slightly the same. Yes. The foam from the physique is slightly fine. Actually, the bubbles of the foam, it's uh, slightly finer when you dispense it from physics draft pour. 
and again it is more smooth and let me add the creamy 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 foam is this a bit sharper yes okay Ooh. as you can see you can create however thick a layer of foam which you desire which is like if you like the creamy mouthfeel with your beer, then Physics Draft Paw might be a good recommendation for you. Let's try with the one with the shrimp. Mm -hmm. With the gravy. Okay, I will try without the gravy. I'm not sure what this is called, but... Um, I have no idea. It's just some fried doughy um, dish that has got fried shrimps on top and then they deep fry it. And it's supposed to be paired with this fiery peanut looking peanut sauce, which is full of spice. A little bit salty. Mm. 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 It wash away the flavor a little bit. Yeah. But after that, the seafood, the prawn taste come back. And now you can taste the taste. It becomes enhanced, right? Mm. The, the taste of the seafood. So in this case, the taste of the shrimp actually gets enhanced. Mm. They are right, off-day beer, perfectly pairs with um, seafood. It had a little bit of bitterness, but it washed away the food in your mouth for a while. Then immediately, the the taste of the food and the flavor of the food it mm. come back. You know what, I'm thinking that it will pair really well with the Singapore chili crab. Oh yeah! Mm. Mm. I cannot remember what it is but that I bought. After I smell it again and then double confirm and double check, it smells a little bit like shrimp, sambal, uh, or we call it heavy ham. It's yes. actually glutinous rice and wrapped with the sambal. As suggested, off day beer actually pairs well with seafood. And there's a uh, seafood as ingredients inside this uh, little snack over here. We are thinking that it should be able to pair it well. It should be. The shrimp paste with the coconut flake. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Oh. The glutinous rice is so sour. Mm. It's almost like you are eating Japanese mochi. Mm, yeah. Japanese mochi with Southeast Asian twists because the outer layer is coated with coconut. stir fried coconut. With shrimp. With shrimp. And the shredded coconut is stir-fried with, I believe, sugar, sambal. Mm -hmm. yeah. And santan, uh, coconut milk. And coconut milk to give it that very um, distinct aroma. And a little bit spicy. The store don't sell this dish every day. Mm. It's just during the uh, Ramadan period. Mm. So it actually pairs really well with all mm. beers. It runs also well. Yeah. It does not it does not have the bitterness at all. Yeah, there's a very nice finishing. I think I can suggest them that actually this beer pair well with the uh, Nonya Kuei. Yeah, that it, would be a good idea. Mm. Those um Nonya Kuei Kuei with yes. the shrimp savory the savory kuei. Yeah, savory kind of kuei. It says that it's actually a very easy IPA. Their catchphrase is you knock back. Relax, switch off to switch on later. You deserve this. <laughs> no, it's, it's quite spicy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, it's nice though. It's nice. It's, it's the, I like the texture, the chewy texture. Mm. And it's very flavorful. I think tomorrow I'm going to buy it one more time. The coconut adds that extra layer of then texture. You There's, can bite into it. Mm, a lot of bite mm. to it. Um, crunch as well. Mm. I am a little bit full now. <laughs> the next one we are going to have is Off Day Pale. Yeah, it's a pale ale. We were told by the friendly staff once again from Off Day that uh, it goes very well with uh, fried food. We have a few fried food dishes. Uh, so one of them is the Indian Rojak, which we have had earlier with the Off Day beer, right? Yep. Yeah, that pairs well with seafood. Some of the dishes has got fried shrimp on top. The rest is uh, all deep fried stuff. Over here we have one big deep fried pastry. It's savoury I believe. I have forgotten what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks appealing to me and yeah. then it should be curry puff or something. It looks like a savoury yeah. puff kind of snack. Let's try the beer first. Yes, let's. So this is oh. the pale ale. I think all day pale they ale. love their beer with a lot of floral fragrance. It's, it smells really crisp, 
mm. and elegant, but from your face, I can tell I that don't, you don't I, like the taste. Yeah. It's just like regular beer. It's a bit on the heavy side, huh? as yeah. compared to the three other. What is inside? Is it potato? Oh, yes, potato, potato, now I remember. <laughs> yes. So it's mashed potato. Oh! And it's spiced up with a lot of spices. I believe they put some spices inside, but mm-hmm. it's not those like chili burning hot spice. It's an herbs kind of spice. It's like a very delicious hash brown. <laughs> you try it, you try it. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Mm. Try with the veal. It's really not spicy at all. But you can taste a lot of mm. ingredient inside. It's very herby. Mm. And the pot- mashed potato is actually uh, mashed up really well. Mm. They managed to blend the spices very evenly into the mashed potato to create that very um, wholesome kind of flavor. So each bite gives you that equal amount of flavors that you expect throughout the whole snack. I like it because the um it's savoury, but yet it's not too salty. And although it's fried stuff, but it's not mm. too oily. It doesn't feel oily at all. Mm, yeah. yeah. Mm. And there's a nice crunch to it. I don't enjoy the beer. I'm happy that uh, the first three beers is nice, but this is not what I like. Mm. And it's very bitter. <laughs> I'm not sure whether it's just paired with this food. It have a very nice aroma. When I was biting into the crust, and I quickly took a swig of the beer. It's nice. For a while, there's this very balanced taste. But mm. after that, there's a lingering bitter after yeah, taste. Yeah, yeah. I don't like yeah, bitter so beer. I like bitter gods and the soup. But I don't like the bitter beer. Let me pair with the pate. Mm. Okay, it's still man. not... Nice. Okay. I am very full and stuff. <laughs> we are not a beer person, but we still try our best to support share. local. Yeah, and then share with you which beer that we like. I like the very first beer, which is which one? Haze. It's, it's very easy to drink. The uh, aroma from the beer is very nice. We pair with the Gado Gado very well paired. Yes. And what is your favorite beer? Hey, <laughs> stop copying me for the I'm entire not. series. It really strikes a chord with my taste, mm. but because it's very uh, easy to flora, drink. then when you drink it, it's very easy to Correct. drink. Uh, overall, I like their beer. It's not too mm. gassy at all. Mm. And four of the beer have a very nice floral aroma. Yes. Except the last one that is bit- bitter after taste. Mm. I like their packaging. Yeah, it's very simple and elegant. Yes. What is your favorite food? I like the popiah. Okay. Popiah is my favorite. One thing left a very deep impression is actually that Kui. Malay kui kui that is glutinous rice that inside was, yeah. coated it's, with the uh, shredded coconut. It was the finest kui we ever had, honestly, yeah. saying, in Singapore. Uh, we have a lot of nice kui in Indonesia and Malaysia. Yeah. But that... That quail was the best ever we had. Yeah, the reason and why... And it's 80 cent. Yes, the reason why it left an impression is because I have not tasted anything like that before. The and texture. I have, when I put it into my mouth, it's like... There's this explosion of flavors. The flavor, right. Yeah, it, it just leaves okay, a Tomorrow, we go, I'm going to buy more for him to please him. <laughs> and what's your second flavor for the dish? Um, Mine will be the chicken rice. The chicken yeah, rice. you are too slow. No. <laughs> so you follow me again. <laughs> Copycat. The I chicken think, rice, the yeah. rice. Yes, the rice. Yes. Uh, the chicken is still acceptable. And if you have it in the store, which is the United Square, uh, you will get the grinded ginger and the black sauce and unlimited chili for you to have it. It was a perfect way to eat the chicken rice. Mm. Yes. I kind of enjoy the rice very much. It mm. feels like I can finish the whole plate and the, then just not the rice feel is, yeah. full, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but after that, I feel very full. Oh, yeah, stuffed with all the food. Is very and what's your third favorite? It will be the Ministry of Rojak, the Indian Rojak. 
Okay, la, I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> it's very flavorful, it's, but it's it's very unique. I yes. honestly saying that uh, in yeah. Singapore, it's hard to find a ad- addictive rojak like this. Yeah. The gravy is very nice, yes. and then the fritter <laughs> is very unique. They have a yes. different feeling inside, and then it is very tasty. And yes. the tempeh is delicious. Yes, and yep. That. I like the fact that it's very colorful. So at first glance, right, you're already very attracted by the mm. dish. And then it helps to whet your appetite. So you're already salivating when you look at the dish. Yeah. And then you want to try it. And I think that yeah. the best part is that the whole dish, it will not feel greasy yes. after a few pieces. Yes. Although it's deep fried. Yes, it was it, very easy yeah. to eat and flavorful. I yeah. like that one. Gado gado is nice, but I would prefer to have it hot. Mm. Yeah, it will be taste better. I think in comparison to the rest of the dishes, it's, it's lighter in taste. It did not leave that deep an impression. Uh, but it, as a standalone dish, right, it's actually quite tasty and it's very light and um, delicious because of the peanut sauce gravy that helps to enhance all the very fresh flavors of the vegetables and the rice cake. We are very happy with the dinner because all is local food. Mm. If you're interested with this machine, go to the description to see how you yes. can buy it. And then, and then the beer, we got it from Temple Cellar. Today, everything is from our pocket. If you all enjoy this and then yeah. you want to buy anything, just look for the information at the description yes so thank you once again for joining us Mm -hmm. for this uh beer and food pairing series thank you so much for joining us today for this uh beer and food pairing and we will see you in our next vlog goodbye